G'day and welcome to the next episode of Tech Adept Crafts. Today we are painting up another Reaper Bones model. This one is a Grave Golem, or at least I'm using it as a Grave Golem. It's it's a fantastic miniature, full of character. It's built of it's a construct build of headstones and the walls of mausoleums, uh, grave tops, the the gate. From the uh, from the mausoleum, and they they end up looking a bit like wings. So this is it's really got a lot of character, and of course there's lots of little bones scattered throughout for the poor unfortunate fools that their graves got caught up in amongst this construct. Sit back and enjoy the tutorial. Hope that you enjoy it, and if you do, make sure that you hit that like button and hit subscribe so that you never miss another episode of Tech Adapt Crafts. And uh, leave a comment down the bottom as to other miniatures that you'd like to see me paint or other terrain projects that you'd like to see me tackle. Anyway, we'll see you at the end of the episode. Cheers. After giving the model a quick undercoat, we're going to start by painting off the metal components of this, which are those gates at the back of the miniature. And I'm using gun metal from Game Color. of the miniature with a grey. You can use any sort of grey that you like. You can use other colours. I'm just choosing to use this as grey because a lot of the stonework I do is using this grey. starting to pick out certain parts of the model for a different color. This is using Rakath Flesh from Citadel and this is just where you want to make it apparent that it is different stone. So whatever pieces of stone work on the model that you want to use, you can pick out whichever bits you'd like. And again using Bestiary Brown from Game Color. Now to give some stark contrast, I'm using a white to go over this component of the miniature. It is essentially a shield, but it would have been the, the, uh, the top of a gravestone. After this, I am using black wash, uh, black null oil from Games Workshop to go over all of the metallic work. And I'll then go over the white as well once that has completely set. Now using a an odd color, but one that gives just a bit of variety. It's an aqua uh, aquamarine color, just like a sandstone or some sort of different colored stone in there. You don't need to use this one a lot. Now you shove to bone to paint all of the skeletal remains that are in that model. Once that's dry, we're going to use Agrax Earthshade over the entire model, also over the metallic components because it'll give them a bit of a rusty sort of look as well as having that black wash over them. Once that is completely dry, take a lighter grey and dry brush over all of that stonework, no matter what the colours are that you've used there. This will help to tie them all together. A little bit of dry brushing back over the bone with just plain Ushabti bone. Mixing some of that bestial brown with some white, I'm just doing a quick dry brush over the base of the model. Going into game color, electric blue, I am painting the eyes. I want to make these eyes look like they 
are magically charged, so that this construct is actually being magically created. Over the top, I'm putting a wash of Drakenhof Nightshade, which is a Citadel shade. And there's the finished bottle. There you have the Grave Golem from Reaper Bones. Hope that you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I had uh, fun painting it. But uh, if you did like it, Make sure you hit that like button and hit subscribe so that you never miss another episode of Tech Edit Crafts. And leave a comment down the bottom as to what other terrain projects you'd like to see me build or painting projects you'd like to see me paint in the future. And until then, keep hobbying. Cheers. A massive thank you also to Jake Hurwitz, who during his live painting stream for NADPOD, gave me a shout out for my channel. I'd, I'd really like to say thank you to him for that. Very, very touching that he thought my painting and my terrain stuff was just so professional. I, I really do appreciate it. Cheers, Jake.